All right. It's March 20th. I go on vacation to the Dominican Republic April 5th. So I have approximately 15 days until my vacation. Um, I am about 10 months post-op. I had my surgery uh, May 27th, 2020. And my ultimate goal is 165 pounds. And then I want to start toning and really like shaping my body. But I done bought these bathing suits. I done bought some two-piece outfits. So in 14 days, I need to transform this belly. Would love to also transform my legs and thighs, but particularly my belly because I'm a bit self-conscious right now. Um, there's a difference in how my stomach looks in the first, uh, in the beginning of the day, in the morning, versus at night. And I need that at night belly to not look the same by the end of these 15 days. So, uh, I am about to start taking HydroxyCut. I have the HydroxyCut Black. I am about to do uh, Mr. London's two-week FUPA challenge. And I'm back to tracking all of my meals. And so, just to see my start. This is, I ain't had nothing to eat this morning. I ain't had nothing to drink. It don't seem to look that bad. But baby, hold on, let me stop talking. This is my resting belly. It don't seem to look that bad right now, but last night, ooh, borderline depressed. It's a difference when I'm talking versus when I'm not talking. But again, we're going to start HydroxyCut Black, and we're going to do Mr. London's two-week FUPA challenge, and let's see how I transform. So I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to measure my own waist. Hope I'm doing this right. I know they say like where your belly button is is I guess where the waistline is. I have my um, she fit measuring tape, but let's see if I can do this the correct way. This is on the inches side. So starting here. Looks about 38 inches. So we are starting at about 38 inches for my waist. In terms of two weeks before vacation. Hydroxycut and Mr. London two week program. The FUPA challenge. My waist is 38 inches. It is week one, day one of the Mr. London two-week FUPA challenge. It's the new one that he uploaded in 2021. Um, super excited to see how this challenge does for um, my vacation. So this is my start. I started HydroxyCut uh, three days ago. Well, today is day three on HydroxyCut, but this is my FUPA. And vacation is April 5th. So I just finished uh, week one, day one of the Mr. London two-week FUPA challenge. You see that sweat? Uh, it's a nice warm-up, nice quick uh, workout. And I do feel like I should be able to be consistent with this. I'm excited to see some results.
All right, getting ready for day five of the two-week FUPA challenge by Mr. London. Just got done doing a 2.8-mile walk. I've been doing some waist training, not every day, but I tend to keep it on about five hours each time I put it on. Let's get this workout in because I'm tired and I want to relax, but uh, I want to see these results. All right, as you can see, I am sweating. This was the end of week one for the two week FUPA challenge with Mr. London. I'm doing the new one that he uploaded in 2021. So week one is for the beginners. Week two starts tomorrow, which is considered the advanced version. And so it's seven days of the advanced one. I'm excited to see what new moves he does. I will say over the course of these seven days, um, I was able to finally make it 15 whole seconds on the V, uh, v sit-ups um, before I got tired and, and grabbed my knees for a rest. So I saw some progress there. Um, not exactly sure what to expect in terms of, you know, shrinkage of my FUPA. As I get ready to go on vacation, um, I'm planning to get a personal trainer when I come back and I'm trying to create realistic body goals for myself. Uh, VSG has truly helped me and it jump started me and I definitely used it as a tool, but now I need to understand what more can I do for my body without having another surgery. And so when it comes to this FUPA, my belly used to be really, really big. I do not know if um if I'm going to have to like remove it, skin removal, you know, whatever, just to get rid of my fupa, or will real, you know, dedication in the gym and dedication with eating actually help get me the type of waist and, and stomach that I want. But week one was good, truly enjoyed it. Ready to see what Mr. London has for week two. All right, I'm breathing hard today. So this was week two, day one, Mr. London two week FUPA challenge, the 21, 2021 one with the advanced one. It was good, I liked it, but he definitely sped up that pace, baby. Um, excited to knock out these, what, six more days after this, since this was uh, day eight or whatnot. It's only two week challenge. Um. Between this workout and like the last Chloe team workout, I would actually combine those into um, my own program. The Chloe team workout I did with the weights and then this. I like this. I like how he gave me a routine for week one. I like this routine for week two. I'm ready to go shower. Collarbone, who this? <laughs> Alright, so I never did finish my two week Mr. London FUPA challenge. Um, I definitely made it through all of week one. Week two was actually fun, I just got lazy. And so I think I did like two or three days. Um, I'm currently on vacation in the Dominican Republic. I just left the gym because I'm still committed to my goals, even through my lazy spells. So 
Today was day one in the gym. I said I was gonna work out three days while I'm on vacation. Before I got here, I weighed myself. I was 170 pounds, which means I am five pounds away from my actual goal um, that me and my surgeon came up with that is appropriate for my body, which is 165 pounds. And so my goal is to be 165 by my one year post-op anniversary. So I'm committed to the goals. I will do Mr. London Fupa Challenge again, just like that Chloe Ting Challenge that I like. I'm gonna redo that one. Um, I plan to do 10 rounds boxing again, but this is just an update that I did not finish that two week challenge. I'm a bum, but I'm still out here getting it in the gym, um, trying to stay hydrated as well. And I do recommend people do the Mr. London two week FUPA challenge, just like some of these other workouts I've been doing. It's a great start. It's good cardio. Um, you're gonna feel the burn, but just wanted to give an update.